Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. We're going to show you how to link to sections in this video today. I've got a little button here. If I push it, it's going to link to a little section down here. So if I hit this button, there we go. You see it takes us to this little section down here. You can all also do this with a section on a different page. I've got a section on a different page here. I click this it takes us to our section on our other page where I've marked it now this will work on rows and sections it'll actually work on individual modules too so let's go back and I'll show you exactly how to do it I'm going to enable the visual builder now you don't have to use a button for this you can use any module that'll let you put a link in you can even put a link up at the menu if you want to and I'll show you how to do that if you're doing it okay let's start from scratch I'm going to get rid of this button and I'm going to go down and let's say we want to link to this blue section here or in this case a row green tab for a row blue tab for a section dark tab for a module I'm going to go into the row here the little cog I'm going to go over to advanced here you're going to find CSS ID and classes now we need to use an ID for this not a class I'm going to give mine an ID of BLROW for blue row you can make yours what you want but it has to be unique you only want one of them and it's a good idea if it means something to you so we've now given this little row here a unique CSS ID of BLROW blue row let's save that let's create a new button here like I say you can use any module you want that will link I'm just using a button for example let's say put over what you want it to say up there blue row now in the link down below we need to put a hashtag because it's CSS ID or CSS IDs have to have a hashtag in front of them and it's BLROW okay let's save this now actually let's put that button in the middle just gonna hit design central align it there we go now let's save we'll save our page changes exit the visual builder okay now when I click that button it should take us down to this blue row here and there we go simple as that that's great especially if you're doing one page scrolling sites and things okay say we want to link to something on a different page let's go to this page here hit that button again to take us to this particular section let's say we'd like to go to this row right here or this section right here when people click it let's enable the visual builder again let's go down to where we want to link I'll use this one I'm going to use the row again or we could create a new section and do it with a section if you want to do so I'm going to go in here over to the advanced and again I'm going to give this a CSS ID right here so I'm going to call this blue icons blue icon so we've now got a unique ID of blue icons for that let's save this now because we want to link to this from another page save our page changes we've got to use the full URL of the page up there which is system22.net d22 gallery up there so let's save this we'll exit the visual builder and we'll go back to our home page here okay let's change this button link to our new one over there so let's enable the visual builder we'll go into the button itself little cog to the link there's what the one that's in there at the moment let's take that away now because we're on a different page like I say we have to link to the page first and then the CSS ID it's the gallery page so I'm going to right click copy link address so we've got to paste the full URL in there you could probably get away with just doing the forward slash d22 gallery but I like to put the full URL in there then we need to put hashtag and our unique CSS ID for that section which is blue icons we'll save our changes 
take the page changes and exit the visual builder now when I click on this it should take us to that new page and down to that blue icon section and there we are can't take it up the top because we've not got enough room but it's taking up as far as it'll go on this page okay if you wanted to add one to the menu you'd have to think about it the same way as changing pages so let's go into this purple one again let's enable the visual builder and we'll put a link to this in the menu so I'm going to go down here here we are now, I think I've already signed this CSS ID yeah let's change that to something again unique so we'll say perp icons now remember if you spell this wrong in your link it will not work so we've now got a new CSS ID of purple icons with this and we've got enough room for it to hit the top of the page so let's save this now let's go to our dashboard what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this page link we're on the gallery you can do it up here we'll just copy the link here like we did before let's save our changes here and exit the visual builder okay well let's go to our menu this time and we'll place a link in our menu up here so I'm going to go to dashboard down to appearance and menus select the correct menu we're working on the main menu so let's grab the one top menu select it and let's add a new custom link here are custom links now the URL that we want is that page the gallery and then the link which is hashtag perp icons and we'll give it a name let's just call it purple add to the menu drag and drop it where you want it save the menu changes okay well, let's go to our home page by visiting the site and as you can see here's our new link we're on the home page here when I hit that link it should take us to the gallery page and down to the purple icons and there we have it now you've just got to remember if you're using them on a menu or another page to put the full URL in there first now if we go back to the home page remember if you're just linking to the same page you can just put the ID and it'll do it for you so there you go guys that's how to link to different sections on different pages using CSS IDs I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.